Hello, welcome to Handsome Griffin's Vocational Series of MATLAB Tutorials in YouTube. Today I'm looking at the Image Processing Toolbox in 2018A. 2018A, that's the important bit. And just to give the intellectual property, this was taken from a Twitter feed here. Uh, and we look at the Twitter feed there. There's the Twitter feed. And there's a new function in MATLAB. So just to say, I've taken it from there. I clicked on that shortened link there and there it is in detail it's Brett Scholzen and you can read that at your leisure and he was referencing their skeleton 3D which is a pick of the week in 2016 so I'll talk about that in a second and then MATLAB have uh, used their own function or written their own function uh, down here uh, excuse me now BW scale there which will place that pick of the week okay and just there on the MATLAB file exchange if you don't have 2018A there is the pick of the week from 2016 so 3D skeletonization of an arbitrary binary volume using parallel medial axis T okay so I think I can get rid of that. Now I had one or two problems as I went along. Uh, that's there mine. And I just look at this one here. Now you can see in the subplot one of mine are missing here. Okay, I'll explain that in a second. But everything else is the same. And Brett and I got slightly different run times. I got 18.9, he got 24, but using the BW scale, he got 0.92 and I got 0.98. Now, when I ran the pick of the week, that's the skeleton 3D, mine was crashing on the gray scale. So I don't know what was going on. I'm not that worried about it because I was just going to use MATLAB's own inbuilt function. So I, it was impossible for me to recreate. The red one there the skeleton 3d of the gray scale don't know what was going on okay and just one other thing i published them here and for some odd reason when i publish it i can't get my final image to appear in the published command there's probably some command that will get it there but for some odd reason it just wouldn't display but it's there okay so I'm just going to look at the code in the printed one in the HTML here I might just blow this up a little bit so obviously if you're looking at this you know a little bit about MATLAB and you know I'm not going to go through everything line by line so I took this from Wikipedia and if you're really new to it it's a bit blurry but a simple example where you want to skeletonize an image would be of a fingerprint of sorry for it being blurry there but you get the idea you just want to concentrate on the main bits or if you're looking at say at the internal organs of a human you might want, just want to skeletonize the the large intestine or the small intestine because if you're looking at the whole thing the volumes would be very big and it could take forever and if you skeletonize it down it's going to get quite small and much more manageable so in matlab there's a sample uh, 3d called spiral vol and there and that first thing there we're just going to uh, run it and load it up and we're just going to plot it there and you i i commented a bit more than brett did but there's the find and index to sub and i'm just going to assume you know what that is and if there isn't you can just look up the help so there's the full spiral 704,000 points i've this is all funny because I've commented this out. I'll just show you here what I did. I c 
come to rate the grayscale because as I said before it just wouldn't go I don't know why so but it's there but anyway doesn't matter there's the skeleton 3d that's the pick of the week from 2016 for the binary image there we are there so you see we've got the points down from 704,000 to 2,283 and it took nearly 19 seconds the code well, I can show it to you but the code is fully available uh, on that um, MATLAB site from Brett Cholson and now we're looking at the um, BW scale function which is new in 2018 we run it there and we just do it in the subplot and as I said before the final one didn't draw for me but it does work so 2281 it's the end point slightly different but the main thing to know is here we had 19 seconds and now we're down to under a second so the compilation speed has improved no end and one final thing to note as Brett notes here I'll just show you in case you think I'm claiming credit for work that isn't mine just here Yeah, it contains a local function or some function and the capacity includes some functions the script was added in 2016b and that's I have it there in the editor there's the sub function and that's the refresh the spiral visualization that's the trying to get us to draw it immediately Okay, where well you're setting the face color and the marker size, etc. Okay, I hope that's of some help. It's just of interest to me, and thanks very much for listening.